there lads and lasses, I'm out today with uh, Terry, he's somewhere down there I think, there he is, and uh, come over to one of my permissions, and this field was cut uh, a few days ago before the rally on Sunday, I thought we'd come over here, anyway, he's out ploughing it now. I mean, you can probably see that, but uh, it's a bit hard going. He's going to work it again tomorrow, so tomorrow might be better. Uh, I say Sunday was the rally, well, three days ago, Tuesday today, and uh, it was a great day, great people, great atmosphere, except for one little glitch, and that was uh, John 316. His camera went missing. His vid camera, which I think is, uh, well, shite. It's, it, I've really got angry about that after all the work he's put in and everything. And, uh, I mean, it, it's hard to, you know, say what can you say, you know, when you get one out of all them people who would do something like that. Anyway, I've come up with an idea. Uh, I don't know how you set it up, but I'm sure someone will know. I want to, I want to help them out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not loaded by any means. I'm skint in fact. Got about sixty quid to last me two weeks. But uh, if anyone knows how to do it, uh, I'll start it off. There's a tenner to help John get a camera and uh, I know you other lads will and lasses will help out if you can uh, you just don't know what to say you know and if he gets more than what his camera's going to cost him then put it towards the uh, Macmillan charity I know you'll get a cob on with this John but tough luck mate <laughs> uh, with all that type of people and uh, we help out if we can so if anyone knows how to set something up like that so we can just help, help them get a camera and all that and uh, just let me know if you can anyway I'm going to have a little go on here it's a bit hard going though so I might go in the next field that's not cloud it's just cut of it the tractor's coming towards me, so I'll have to move. I'm right, catching a bit. I've just had an interesting surface find. Uh, I haven't got a clue. I thought it was a top off something first. This not focusing hang about. It's, there we go. I thought it was a top. Uh, and that sign going through it. There's another hole that side. Probably another piece come out there. It's a bit windy today, so I'm sorry if you can hear the wind now. But, uh don't know what it is. I mean, that's pot. The white, white part. Oh, unusual. Someone will know what it is. Come on, Pete. You know. Tell me what it is, mate. Uh, catch you no, a bit. This is definitely a first for me, this. I don't know. Anyone fancy a little tipple? Well, let's come out again. It's a Bell's. Little whiskey bottle. Nice little bottle, that'll keep there. Fill it up with tea. Nah, nah. I right, catch him a bit. Right, we're just having a brew, me and Terry. There's Terry here. <laughs> uh, and he's just found that. And we think. Come on, focus. Yeah, playing, playing silly buggers again. There you go. We think it's probably a, an upholstery tack. We think. But uh, got a lovely little pattern on it. Lovely design on it. So I'm sure if it's something else you'll let me know. Before Teddy throws it in the bin. Yeah, <laughs> take it down to being careful. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, catch it a bit. And I've been going about 10 minutes. We we're going to go in that ploughed field. He's supposed to be working it today, so it would have been better, but he's not there yet, so we'll come in a bit of pasture and we'll check a bit later, see if he started working the first ploughed field. Anyway, first little tag is about well, five, six minutes ago. Is that, I think it's a musket ball. Come on, focus. Messing about again, right? But I'm not sure whether it's flat both sides near enough. But uh, I don't know what else could be. And uh, this thing here, yeah, I'll just dug out of this hole. Look, oh, that's been nice little. Been a nice little pot that of some sort. Obviously metal on that, but. Hmm, pity that wasn't complete. Would have been nice there. Yeah, never mind. I'll look for the other pieces. And I'll catch it a bit. Now yeah, I've got a, a double header here. I was swinging, I was getting a signal here. A signal here. I thought it might have been the one at first. Maybe a big piece of iron or something. But two separate signals. I've dug them out, haven't looked at them yet. But I just thought, probably lead like, but. I thought we'd have a look at a double. I know what's in it. There you go. I don't think it's much here, I'm nearly it's on the surface. What's that? No, it's not there. No, it's going to be foil. If it's stuck in the grass, I should imagine. Why couldn't it be an easy one? Ah! Oh, it's not for a little bit of lead. I thought it might have been lead, but... No. Yes, you do nothing else anyway, eh? so you might as well watch what these pieces of lead come out. Right. Let's try this one now. Yeah, we've got a stubborn one here. On. There we go, over this side of it. Oh, bugger. Hang on, what's that? No, stone. Looks like it's gone right through now. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, look at that. Nearly identical to the other piece of that. Anyway, I'm not doing my, no more of them. <laughs> I'm catching a bit. Right, there we go, first coin of the day. Look at that here. Doesn't that look a bit goldy colour? I thought, ooh. It was even brighter before when I first dug it. But, uh, in fact, it's the George D. Sixth. God, I can't see it this sun now. Not that I can, I can see anyway, it could be upside down there, is it? No, I think that's the right way, is it? Anyway, George D. Sixth, shilling, 1950. Uh, can't see nothing on there. Uh, but I think it's it's just Cooper and Echo. But still, it's a flash coin. I don't mind. Can you hear me complaining? I catch you a bit. 
Now next target is this. I think got a little corn ball. Corn ball? Coin ball. Well, let's open it. Like a little kinder egg really, isn't it? I bet it is blue. Oh, oh, got an edge. I don't know if you can see that. No. Oh. Bugger. Well, it's folded over. It's. Well, I think it's a coin. I can't see. Oh, I can see. Oh, hang on. I can make something out. Well, not a lot. It could be a button actually, I don't know. There's some writing on it, I think. I took my coat off, my coat's back there with me bag and that so. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear these earphones, if you can, I'm sorry, they're chirping away. I'll have to have a look at that, I think, in a bit. But, uh, I'm going for a coin on there. No, I'm catching a bit. Now, my next signal, you can see where I am here, I think. Let's take these headphones off. I'm <coughs> doing my head in. Chattering away. Look at this. In amongst all this, I don't know what you call this stuff. You know, the stuff that bites you. No. Uh, there's loads of it, though. But just down there, so see that edge there? That's where there's a brook. And my thinking is, you know, years ago, maybe this was water as well. I don't know, might have been. Uh, but behind me, Roughly on this line, where I'm on now, you can see that edge there. Well, in that field, that's where my lad found the Roman fibula, and just a bit further off, I found a Roman minimum. So I've come back into this field, which we don't usually do, and just walk this line. Well, sort of. I start over there where my bag is and uh, just walk down that line then cut across into this. I thought I'll have a go in here. Anyway, I found that bent coin on the edge of this so I'll come in here and from about, I don't know, seven inch down, something like that. Just got another, another coin. I think it's battered. Yeah, it's well and truly battered but I think there's something on it, but what I don't know. Uh, might be a ship, I don't know, I can't bloody say, I'm just guessing. Because <laughs> my glasses are back with me back. I just took my bloody jacket off. I don't know what that is. Maybe you can see it better on the, the video lads. And the lasses, sorry, keep forgetting about the lasses. Uh, So, no, I'll try and clean it up anyway. I'm catching a bit. And, right, just a quick one. They say big pieces of iron with holes in give a good signal, the bloody right as well. Look at the size of that. It's a wheel off something, or. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'm not carrying it round with me. In fact, there's a nice little post there. Walk this way. And if I need you at any time, I'll come back for you. There you are. Leave you there. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, lads and lads, a very, very quick round up. As you can see, this side is all the crap. Right? Over this side, there's more crap. But it's better crap than over that side. And so, that piece of pot. 
uh, part of a tarot ring something that was round once I think I think a musket ball I think that's off a chart or something a strap looks like an old one metal strap off something a plat oil is it? is it oil or petal? Okay. A little bag seal button button 1950 George VI Cooper Nickel chilling probably a George half penny can't see nothing on it at all absolutely naked and that strange object with metal running through it it's pot when I say it's metal running through both sides and that coin that was bent in half uh, let's try and get this as clear as possible I'm not sure which way, that's the way there I see, you can see where it was only joined by that little bit at the end so when I was trying to clean it, it just broke I hope you can see that, I'd like to try and find out what it is anyway the other side, where it was folded on the outside and you see, totally, totally knackered and that's the, only, that's the only decent bit of the coin but the other half is, you can get a little bit on it, but there's three lines in the top left corner on a shield with a crown on top and you can just make that out I can understand that right, I think it's probably Latin and the other half there's I think three lines bottom right corner you can just make them out some say lions, some say leopards. But anyway, I'm getting steamed up a bit here, the tea's on. I say nothing on the other side, so... Pretty if I can make out the other corners on the shields. Give me an idea. I'm sure someone's found one of these intact and we'll probably know. But as I say, it's not about... It's not about these finds really, I'm not bothered. It's more about the beginning of the video, what I said there and all that, so, anyway, let me know what you think, my lad's cut my heads with a petrol ball, you probably heard him, uh, just let me know what you think, if someone can set it up, that'd be brilliant, I won't be able to, I haven't got a clue, and, uh, well, I won't say no more on it, just leave it that way, okay, I'll catch you soon, hopefully with some better vines. Take care everyone, look after yourself, I'll see you soon, see you now.